Welcome back to the 70s, guys. We're trying to get chores done today quick because we're going to head, uh, we're going to make a trade on tractor. We're going to head into the John Deere dealership. And then it is May right now, so we have to do a ton of spraying, which they say the spray, the, the chemicals nowadays, everybody promises they're going to do super good. They're going to kill all your weeds. They don't do crap. Chemicals don't do crap right now. And a lot of our weeds, uh, it's just, it, it's these salesmen trying to sell you stuff. And I've been like, for the past 30 years, I've been like, row crop cultivating, taking a piece of iron through the row is going to do a lot more damage than your fancy chemical stuff. We bought a little chemical stuff and we're going to try it this year. We're still going to row crop cultivate. We're going to get some TMR filled in the wagon. There we go. It's definitely filling. But I am absolutely tired of these salesmen. They'll come knocking at the farm pretty much at midnight, seems like. And they want to sell you this chemical crap. I'm like, for 30 years, you guys have been selling me this chemical crap. And it doesn't do crap to weeds. So, we're trying to figure this out here. It's been tough. It's been tough. We're going to get feeding the cows. We are not going to get feeding the cows because we are full on TMR. But I wanted to get it out of the mixer because the mixer needs room. So that way it can keep mixing here. So we're going to leave the TMR in the wagon for now, I think. Hey, there's Buck. What'd you do? Oh, Austin ended up having to sell his truck or something. He, I don't know. I he, I ended up buying the thing, and I sold it, and I went and got me one. So I like my I like my old classic Browns. This truck will be worth a lot more than his. His out on the inline six. That's a good looking. It's got three in it. That's a good looking truck, Buck. Gotcha. Thank you, sir. I like the topper. I, I really I really wanted the opt for the topper on there. Yeah. Plus, if we're going to be carrying seed around, yeah. now we don't have to worry if it's sitting outside. Yeah, true. Gooseneck, though, might be a little tough. I didn't get the package on there for it. I didn't really want to tear into the bed too much right now. What? Plus, we already got yours. You said the V8's under there or in line still? Yeah, I, got, I still got a V8 under it. Oh. It's a V8 stick, so it's good for towing, but I yeah. just never got This one just didn't have the fifth wheel pack. This one just didn't have a gooseneck package on the bed. Gotcha. We'd have to get that done. Hey, uh... I'd get a plow bracket on here, though, if we ever got a plow. That'd be nice. That'd be nice to put on. That deer salesman he was calling about the trade-in we're gonna do? The one that I'm not so excited about because that was my tractor? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we could sell... We don't have to do the trade-in. I... It's up to you. Um... I'd like I, to keep the tractor if we can. This 20 is not a bad tractor. It's just... Yeah, we need a more of a row crop tractor. It's not set up for row crop, really. Eh, it kind of is. This is still a brute. Yeah, it's just it's got the big 580s on there. Eh, it'll be fine. It's got the fire stones. I think you can at least give it that. Yeah. The only good tire they make nowadays, it seems like. Made out of Des Moines, Iowa. Well, what are we going to do? Otherwise, we're just standing around here. Yeah, well. We don't use a 1586 much. It's been a year-ish since we bought it. Austin doesn't even help on the gosh dang farm. I think he's having a little too much fun now being back from Nam. Yeah. Or do we get the other tractor and then we lease this one out to the neighbors so it's out of our hair, but we get some money for it? No, we gotta sell it. I'm. I don't want to do that lease and stuff. We need the money anyways if we're gonna trade. It does so. good, but the. Gosh, the front wheel assist, like the turning radius on this is horrible, too. And you know most of these tractors are going to go to that in the future, right? Yeah. Well, I, I, I say we trade it. Let's load her up. Okay. Uh, do you want me to just follow you if we're going to... Aren't we supposed to get that cultivator? No, because isn't the cultivator three-point? Yeah, we got three-point cultivator. I was thinking... Ah, gosh, I don't know. <sighs> I don't have anything to tell that, so... Yeah, maybe... Well, maybe... My truck's basically useless. Maybe you, you follow me with another tractor and we can... Because we got two three-point cultivators we're bringing home here, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll follow you with the 5020. We're going to get backed up to the gooseneck. We got a little ways to go to deer here, so I figured we'd put the tractor on the trailer. There we go, we got the ramp up. Well, I'll get her loaded up. Yeah, I think you should be good with that. Tires are off. What'd you say? I don't know. Put on your headphones. Earmuff thingies. Whatever the heck they call those. Headphones. What are those? Head We're thinking maybe a later date we'll get we'll get a four-wheel drive tractor. Right now we don't need one. We just we just don't use this tractor enough. Everything the 5020 handles the disc fine. 
We'll get a big tractor here eventually, but not right now. Are we good, Buck? You should be good. Well, if you just want to follow me over to the dealer, we'll head over there. Uncle Bobby B ain't gonna be very happy about this. What do you mean? We just had the tractor for a year and now we're taking it back to him. No, we're trading it. Different dealer. No, it's not going to Bobby B. Huh. Yeah, he what would be. Bobby, well, Bobby works around quite a few places. It's a possibility he's at there too. True, true. Bobby does get around. I think. Well, it's quite a heavy load for the little 250. We're, we'll just keep her slow though. Well, me and Buck did something to you deer guys. We did get a deer piece of equipment, but it's probably not what you guys were expecting. We got a pretty darn good deal on trading, and so it kind of made sense to go this route. We got a 706. It was for sale, and it had this front row cultivator on it. And me and Buck were like, that's perfect. And so we ended up trading for this. We got some money with it, so we now have more cash, a little bit more cash in our bank account. Which worked out great, because we weren't using that other tractor. So me and Buck are heading back. We're going to get row crop cult cultivating some corn here. Maybe some beans that were set on 30 inch rows. Knock those out. So here she is. Me and Buck were expecting... The John Deere salesman was kind of a little... He was, he was stiff on prices. He was trying to get the best of us. And then we found the 706 that we could trade in. And that just made sense. And had a front row cultivator already on it. No, it's not exactly what I wanted, but I'm glad we didn't trade the 5020 for this thing. Yeah, I mean, I'd have been that, real mad if we'd have done that. That deer salesman, he was, he was, he was, he was tight. Yeah, those prices are just gonna keep getting worse. Yeah, farm will just make it just makes sense. At least for now. Yeah. Well, what are we staying around here for? Might as well get yeah, going. Yeah, get her off. But yeah, it's a farm wall 706. It's a little bit used and has a front row cultivator on it. So, like I was saying. It'd be nice to have more tractors that are row crop. That'd be nice for haying too, because we were just getting too big of tractors. And this is gonna work. This is gonna work great. And then we did buy an 825 cultivator from John Deere salesman. Um, he did sell us this thing. They're brand new. They're just starting to come out. I mean, this is one of the first years they started making them. We'll see how they do, I guess. What you doing, lighting a cig in there? No, I was having to check for some paperwork on this. I had to take it down to the bank to get the thing licensed. Mm. Okay, Kinda well, let's... on those farm plates. Yeah, let's go knock out grandmas then. Let's go real crop. Uh, grandmas look the worse. Yeah, but, uh, did you not tell the... Did you not tell the courthouse that your truck's a farm truck? I forgot to. Kind of important. Oh, boy. Case IH, well, what is that? What? Case IH. Yeah. Huh. Never heard of them. Ah, it's some possible market deal that Farmall's gonna be getting bought out by them or something. Interna international in case or Spartanly. There's some rumor that they're gonna combine and this is just a joke hat that they've been starting to throw around. Huh. Uh-huh. Farmall's gonna get bought out. I think it's international will get bought out. Oh. Unless that's the same thing, is it? Yeah. Or maybe they're just merging businesses. I don't know what that business structure Some joke business proposition right now and they're throwing the hats around. Huh. So what this is going to do is it should, it's going to fold out and then this is going to go, the shanks are going to go right down the, co the corn row and rip out all the weeds. We've been doing this for the heck since great grandpa was alive. Come on Cinderella, that ground ain't going to rip itself. And they're trying to sell these chemicals, but the chemicals really don't, ha we haven't seen anything good come out of them yet. They don't really take care of the weeds we'd, that we'd like to see taken care of. Jeez. That is a weedy field. Well, this is going to be nice to get this cultivated here. We'll have to come back in a couple weeks, probably. I'll follow you, Buck. Well, if you're going to do that, then I'm going to start on the end row. I didn't know if you are going to start there or not. Yeah, we'll start on the end rows. You keep your hood ornament on that tractor in yeah. the middle of a corn stalk. You'll stay right on line. Yep. I think Buck's going to get the stuff on the headlands over there, and we're going to keep going here. You can see the difference. We're really knocking those out, too. Trying to steal off the corn. It's tough, though, sometimes.
Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago and pine for them old days of yore. Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees. Let me fly like the leaves when they fall. Well, we're done. Buck's finishing up one last row there. Look at him go. He's just blaring to some music. I think he's, well, I thought we had the radio on that tractor. Maybe not. This tractor with a front mount style worked fantastic, actually. I didn't get to run Buck's rear mount style, but the front is nice because you, you're, you know, you're sitting in the seat. And you can look down and make sure you're not hitting rows. You can watch all the weeds. You, you're never looking back. And you're like, oh, shoot, I'm off a row. And then you got to, like, yank the wheel sideways well i guess now what really because grandma's the biggest field that we got 34 and 35 are those two plots that are right uh just north of my place they're not that stuff hasn't sprouted yet but i'm worried that that's going to be a really weedy field just for the fact that when i was out there with the disc and the 5020 it was just caked in chem follow yeah Horrible. it was really bad so we might want to keep an eye out on that field is that yeah. stuff behind our, is the corn around the house, the main farm, is that stuff good? Honestly, that's still got a little bit to go, I think. Whoa. But is it good enough to probably rake through there with these things, or at least one of them? Well, we could. We could probably knock that out. Yeah, corn around the house. Fuck, I'm not, I'm thinking it's not worth it yet. I'm finding two weeds, which I can just kick out with my foot, pretty much. Besides all the rocks, let's check the other half of this because this is the cleaner side of the stuff. Though I think we kind of just ripped some of this stuff up. Check more towards Chet's field area. There's a couple. I say we wait, wait for a little more to come up because it's not too weedy yet. Wow, it's a clean field. There you go, backer in. <laughs> nice. It's that's, a tight squeeze. That's how I can tell. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. There we go. Everything's put away. We'll lock nice back inside. Let me out. Well, it's July 1 now. Grass is ready to harvest. We're going to get the cows fed yet. I think Buck's out tossing, yeah, he's out tossing some bales here. And these guys need some TMR too. We got the 1206 out and we'll hook it up here. We still have the front cultivator on, even though we're done cultivating for the season, but I'll get the 1206 out. We'll hook it on because we got a lot of TMR mixed up here. Hey Buck, can yeah. you throw a couple bales in the mixer? Uh, that's what I'll just go do with these. Okay. Yeah, so I think Buck's going to toss some more bales to the cows here and we need more TMR here. I got a full load in the wagon. We'll dump the wagon out, and then we'll also throw him some bales here. We'll dump this TMR out. There we go. And then the mixer should be ready for us too for another load. So we'll go pick up another load and give the cows another load. And I currently got nine bales in the back of the truck. Do you want any of those in the cattle barn? Yeah, we'll put go put go go ahead and put a couple in there. I think would be good. Full load of TMR coming through, Buck. And we'll dump. Eat up, boys. Eat up. Hey, We're Buck, do, do you want to go buy a couple straw bales? It'd be uh, nice to give him some bedding. Yeah, I can get four big ones right now, and it's stupid, but they're like really, really, really big ones. They're starting to come out with some of those bigger square balers. Okay. It's stupid, but the prices are at 5400 for four big ones. Wow. They're like six times. There's eight. It's like six times the capacity of one of our small ones. I think these guys can suffer through some mud for 5400 bucks, man. Just saying. That's about the only reason. Uh, it's the only place we're going to be able to get it. 
I don't eight. know if it's worth 5,400 bucks though. We got 25 grand in our bank account. Is your 706 account. worth 5,400 bucks? Yeah, it, that, that, that gets stuff done. We used it once. The what? 706? Dude, straw bales. These guys are totally happy in there. They're gonna get slaughtered anyway. It doesn't even matter. Why aren't you just caring? Don't you want your moo moos to be nice and tender? You'll be fine. Well, okay. Go ahead and get some. Well, guys, thanks for watching this one. Really do appreciate it, as always. I think we'll end up getting some straw for the cows. We'll see, though. It's expensive. But anyways, thanks for watching. And hey, but we'll see you in the next one. I think Buck just bought the bales. Gosh yeah, dang, those are, bye -bye. those are expensive, Buck. Okay, we'll see you guys.